Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bugisto. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how to create text rates in Bugisto. So basically what we'll be seeing is we'll be seeing how the text rates appear to a customer at the checkout time, how we can set the pricing tax inclusive in the configuration settings. We'll also be seeing how to create text rates and assign a text rate to a tax class. And we'll also see how to select the text category for a particular product. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial that please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So the very first thing that uh, I want to show you first is the uh, how the text rates appear to a customer. So I've applied the text uh, category to a particular product that's the simple product that you can see here so what I'll do is I'll add it it to the cart and after adding it into the cart I'll be making a checkout thereafter now on the checkout page right now uh, I'm as a guest user here so right now you can see that the text is being shown as zero dollars uh, for this particular uh, product uh, order that we are going to place so I'll just fill in the details here uh, for example I'll enter the first name last name I'll enter the email address I'll choose the street address I'll choose my state as California I'll set my zip code to 9001 and here on the right hand side or uh, on the card summary you can see that the text of 12% is applicable that equals to $120 uh, and the grand total is 1120 US dollars there so I've set a zip raise there so if I choose it as 9004 and I click here on the side you'll see that the text rates uh, would go away and they have gone away as you can see so I've set it the zip code uh, range as 9001 to 9003 so if I give it as 9002 you'll see that the tax rates would again appear back as 12% there for the particular tax rates that I have created for the California uh, state there. So again, it's showing $120 there. So this shows how the tax rates appear to a customer at the storefront at the time of checkout. Now let's hop onto the admin backend of the Bugisto store there and let's enter the email address password for the admin and tap on the sign in button. So the very first setting that I want to show you is how we can set the pricing text inclusive in the configuration settings. So for that, we'll have to go to the uh, wrench icon that you can see here and here we'll go to the taxes. And here uh, under the pricing, you can see that we have the text inclusive option, right? So what you need to do is you need to just enable this text inclusive option and tap on the save button thereafter. Thereafter, we have to go to the settings icon, that's the gear icon, and then we'll go to the taxes option. So here we'll see how we can create the tax rates and assign a tax rate to a tax class. So what we'll do is, uh, first of all, we have to create the tax rate. So I'll go to the tax rates here. And here you can see that I've created the tax rate one for state California, country United States, and I've given zip from and zip to values, and the rate is 12%. As you can see, the same was visible here. Tax 12% for a zip code of 9002. Here 9001 to 9003. I when I enter 9004, the uh, particular tax rates were excluded from the card summary there, right? Now you can also import uh, the uh, text rates using uh, the files like CSV, XLS or XLSX files as well. If you have uh, the values uh, within those uh, for your text rates, you can import them in bulk as well. You can export the text rates as well by tapping here on the export button option that you have and you can select the format in which you want to have whether you want to have it in XLS format or as CSV format there and you can export the same. Now to create a text class uh, text rate basically what you need to do is you need to tap here on the create text rate button that would bring up the section to create a new text rate as you can see wherein we have to put the identifier 
choose the country choose the state you or you can uh, set it as asterisk as well you can enable the zip code range as well zip from and zip to values and the rate as per your own requirement there so depending upon the country chosen you can choose the state enable the zip range there or you can disable the zip range and you can enter a particular zip code for which the tax rates would be applicable there so i have already created tech a tax rate here that's for california united states so if i edit it up uh, let me show you the different values that we have put up to create the text rate. So the identifier has been set as text rate 1. The country has been selected as United States. The state is California. The zip from and zip 2 values are there. And the rate is 12% there. So 12% of the product price would be the text rate applicable on the uh, product there. And then you need to tap here on the save text rate. So that's how you create a text rate. Then coming to the text category here, here you can create a text category by tapping on the create text category. So I've already created one. If I tap on the edit option here for the created one, you can see that I've given the code as US text category. The name is set as US text. The text description has been set up and I've selected the text rate that I had created for the United States California there. That's the text rate one and I've saved the text rate right so this was how we can create the text rates and assign a text rate to a text class there so if i go ahead and again tap here on the create text cat, uh, category then we have to give the code the name the description and whichever text rates that you have created all of those text rates would be available here for selection then you have to select that up and then you can save the particular text category now let's see how we can select the text category for a particular product for that what you need to do is you need to go to products for example we have a simple product here you have to edit that up and after editing it up you have to scroll down to this particular section that says text category and from the drop down here you'll find the complete list of text categories that you have created uh, there in the back end and you can see that the US text is available here and you can apply that up to this particular product and then tap on the save product button. So whenever the customer enters the particular zip code range or the zip code of the customer is within the range of the range that has been set up within the text rate there, then the particular text rate would be applicable like we had said it as 12%, so 12% of the subtotal there of the product there is available that's 120 dollars there itself right so this is how we can apply the text category to a particular product under the product section there and yes that was much about how to create the text rates in Bagdisto and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bagisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bagisto.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.